Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Tuscan Tan Full Self Tan Mousse. Um, I gave this self tanner two out of five stars, so it wasn't as good as an average self tanner. It fell below average. Um, I got it online on the Tuscan Tan website, and it's kind of weird. Tuscan Tan is actually in Australia. <laughs> um, but anyways, to ship it here, they do ship to the U.S., but to ship it here is extremely expensive. Including shipping, it was almost $70, which is by far the most self -tan most expensive self-tanner I've ever bought. Um, it comes in a 5.1 ounce bottle, and once you factor in shipping, that's almost $14 an ounce, which is outrageous. Before shipping, it's like nine bucks an ounce, which is still pricier than average. Um, for those of you who can get it without the high shipping price, it's still more expensive than your average self-tanner. Um, this is a mousse, and I got it in the medium, the medium dark shade. It comes out with a guide. It's like a medium brown guide. It definitely has a green hue to it, though. Um, as I was pumping it out on the mitt, I could definitely see some green undertones. If the, the mousse feels nice. It feels, um, it's not too thick, not too thin. It's a nice feeling mousse. The smell, once you smell it in the bottle, it smells kind of nice, kind of like a light tropical sense. But as soon as you start pumping it out and applying it to your skin, that smell is gone and you're, it's replaced with a self-tanner smell. It's not really a strong self-tanner smell, but it just doesn't smell very good. I was actually originally excited when I smelled it in the bottle, but then once you start using it, you realize that smell isn't very good. Applying it is really difficult. You definitely need to use a mitt. Um, they do send one with the product, which is nice. But this product, I was literally blending it in forever and it kind of just moves around on your skin. It never fully blends in. So I went to bed looking like a streaky mess just because I couldn't blend the product in. I blended for minutes and minutes. I probably blended for like 20 minutes straight on my body, which is a lot. Um, and then the product was just still there. You could still see streaks all over. Um, so that kind of concerned me when I went to bed. Um, drying time is about 45 minutes, so it definitely takes longer than average to dry. And I did feel kind of sticky while I waited for it to dry, so I didn't like that. Um, and you do have to be careful while you wait for it to dry because it has that dark guide in it that will stain anything. Um, I, and fortunately, it didn't stain anything because I was very careful with it. But if you do get it on your towels or your sheets, it will stain, so be careful. Um, after washing this one off the next morning, um, my color was like a medium tan. It was a nice looking tan and I was actually surprised that it was even just because of how streaky it was after I applied it. But it did have a kind of orange hue to it. It was a nice looking tan but I do wish it was darker. So it wasn't my favorite tan. But those of you looking for a medium tan, you may like it. Um, it just wasn't dark enough for all the hassle of applying and blending in. Also when I woke up that self tanning smell was a lot stronger and I couldn't smell any of that tropical smell so I was excited to shower it off. Um, it lasted about three days before fading, and luckily it didn't fade uneven or patchy, so it faded really naturally, which was ni nice. Men, I don't really think you'll like this one. Um, application is just such a pain for a medium shade tan. Um, it says it's medium dark. I think you definitely need to apply two days in a row in order to achieve the dark shade. And applying it is really a pain just because the, the product sits on top of your skin and it doesn't really soak in. Um, so overall, I ended up giving this one two out of five stars. And for more information on this self-tanner as well as many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.